Virgos! Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys had a great weekend and a wonderful Monday. So we're going to get into the week ahead. This is going to be for, oh my gosh, already in June. Uh, June 4th through June 9th, 2024. Let's see what messages are coming up for you. Please do smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings and my channel. And yeah, let's get started. What does Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising have to look forward to this week? Okay. So you have the photograph, coffin, and the phoenix. Okay. So someone's looking at your pictures, Virgo. Old photos, new photos. Someone's missing you. Being very nostalgic about you. Um, this is also about making new memories. Now, of course, as always, these are love readings. However, love can encompass many different types of relationships. So this could be romantic. It could be friends, um, that kind of thing. Family members. Okay. You also have coffin. Endings are bringing new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, transition. And the phoenix, a new phase. Rekindling, renewal, transformation, growth again, and a changed mind. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look at photograph. What's going on here? So there's definitely someone um, looking at, you know, for some of these could be a really old photo. Like, look, that's like a Polaroid. Um, let's take a look here. Let's see what's going on. Somebody's missing you though. Okay. Oh, and they're secretly missing you. <laughs> Somebody's hiding this. Um, not revealing that I just heard they keep looking at your pictures or they're hiding that they're missing you. They're not seeing anything. They're kind of, they have kind of a mask on with the magician. This really makes me feel like they're hiding behind a mask. Um, they could be a performer. This person could be very quiet. They could be a Pisces or a Gemini, which wouldn't really represent quiet person but it could be um i just feel like they i'm just hearing razzle dazzle i'm hearing they're kind of they might be out in front of other people putting on an act being like perform like performing in some way but secretly like behind the scenes they're all about you okay all right and daydreaming and fantasizing about you virgo Okay, um, maybe there's a ghosting scenario happening. This is always for me on my channel, my ghost card, ghosting, looking for you, thinking about you. This person is dreaming. Yeah, they're kind of like dreaming or they're just thinking about, you know, the head, they have their head in the clouds about you in a lot of ways, okay? But very focused. I feel like the energy with this person. So this week, you definitely have someone here who is tremendously either wanting, like, maybe they think that you've ghosted them. They want to see you perform or they want to see you do something. Or they're looking at stuff where, you know, like, obviously there's there was a relationship here with this person where they saw you perform or they saw you do things. Um through pictures maybe videos maybe anything like that because it is photograph let me see here okay hmm all right king of pentacles so it could be a an earth sign but that's also your energy i feel like this person might feel like you are walking away from the world in some way or there was some kind of internet connection, like World Wide Web kind of connection. Uh, some of you might be on social media. Some of you might not. There might have been some type of communication over the internet. So maybe you're not talking to this person at this time. But I will say, um, you might be in some kind of, like at some kind of crossroad. You might be trying to decide whether to walk away from Someone, you might be looking at somebody's pictures too as a reminder or thinking about the past or some old memories. 
you could be actually walking away but i feel like with the two of wands you're definitely this week in this position of trying to make a decision here and this person is too but i feel it's more like because they're looking at you or thinking of you and missing you they they're thinking that you're leaving you're walking away from something or you're traveling or you're moving are they looking to see if you're doing that hmm interesting uh, wondering if you've made a decision perhaps about traveling or if you're going to do something or go somewhere they're looking to see that okay if you're going to make some new memories elsewhere all right well could have a connection to family oh yeah okay are you going to push back on a family or are you going to go and free yourself from something or travel? Um, so I kind of feel like, you know, and for some of you, this could be you where you are thinking secretly about manifesting and just leaving everybody behind and going off on some kind of expo exploration, either with family or without. For some of you, this is this thing where you're going to go somewhere and take all kinds of photos and make new memories for yourself. Okay, and just do something. You could be a photographer. Maybe you're going to do something with photography. But this week feels it's a lot to do so far with um, making new memories. Either someone wanting to make new memories with you, Aquarius energy here, or yeah, or it could be you wanting to do this. But I'm also feeling like if there's a connection, somebody is missing you. For sure, and I do feel like there's a question if you are available to them or not, or if you're done, if you're leaving, or if you're walking away, or if you already have, okay? So kind of reminiscing on your photos, thinking about the good times. So there is that energy, but I will tell you, there is no communication from this person about this so far. I don't see that. If anything, this person is kind of hush-hush and keeping them to themselves. I also don't see you communicating outwardly about your plans and your actions th with someone. Especially if you're missing someone, you're keeping something hush-hush. So as I always say, like the reading, the, the, the roles could be reversed. All right, so let's move on to, let's see, you had the coffin next. So like I said, endings, bringing new, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and a transition. So something is ending here. But something, you know, with every ending, there's a new beginning. Everything is, it just shifts and change. Nothing's ever final. Okay, the tower. Hmm. And this is like, very forceful very harsh let's see oh yeah a harsh ending brings a new love start hmm so are you ending something this week like i said it could have something to do with this or is someone ending something this week another person let's take a look oh okay somebody is liberating themselves from a situation, making huge change, transitioning to having a new beginning and new love, perhaps maybe dating, getting out there and, and starting over. Um, burning down the house, I just heard. Not literally, figuratively. If someone's burning down the house, done with, I'm done with something. That's what I hear. New love opportunities are coming my way, other options, and I'm going to get out there and socialize and have good times with other people so some of you are definitely going to like you're ending like something's ending something is ending and there's a new there's a renewal of love is what i feel now this could be you like i said getting out there and and socializing more this week or meeting up with people or having reunions or one person in particular and vice versa uh, with you you and another person okay there's a new love start kind of a shock because i feel like somebody may come in and um say hey i'm free to do this 
I'm free to get together. Yes. Okay. That's so sometimes I just, the messages come and then finally we get to where it really needs to be. So the six of swords, someone is traveling. Two people are coming together for sure. Feels like a reunion. There's a page of pentacles, six of swords coming out of their comfort zone. Um, here's my plans. Here's my ideas. This is what I want to do. I want to get together. Yep. I have the opportunity now. I can do something here. And yeah, I'm going to make this happen. So you may get some type of communication from someone this week. You got two aces on a page. Somebody's going to tell you um, that they're going to come in. They're coming in to see you this week. It's a shock because I don't feel like it's 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 a shock for some reason. I don't feel like it's it's unexpected for sure. And um, yeah, major transition. Like something is ending, and then this comes in this new beginning. Okay, so it's pretty awesome. If if, if something that you're if you're just like the stones say, if you're waiting on a friend, you could be or waiting on a lover um, coming in or waiting for the right time for you and this person to come together. And it could also be a new love, new start. And you could be talking to someone online, perhaps. Some of you might be, like I said, and then uh, they're going to come in. They're coming. They're coming to see you or you're going to see them. So that's really cool. Maybe you met someone a couple weeks ago, 10 months ago, however long there's going to be a connection being made. It's going to make you very happy. Okay. So you also have the phoenix. There's a new phase. So there's a lot of new stuff going on. Endings and new beginnings this week. A new phase, rekindling, renewal, transformation, growth, and changed mind. The phoenix is rising. Okay. Yes, there's a healing. Wow. Coming out of a dark place is what I'm hearing. Renewal and hope. Coming out of a dark place. Look at this. All this success this week. Could be on the work front. Um, if you were in some kind of depressive energy or melancholy or feeling sad about something, like all of a sudden, if you've been praying for guidance or the light to come in, it's going to shine on you this week. You're going to get a sign. Something's going to come to you this week where you feel that shift. Your soul is rekindled. You feel renewed. Um, <laughs> this is my girl in the bikini at the beach. Maybe you're like just filling up your pool and you're going to start swimming, coming out of those cold days and getting into the pool. Um, if you're in that area where you can do that. Strength. Wow. Um, <laughs> some of you, this is like, I, I have to just tap on this. I just do. I have to tap into this. Some of you are doing some strength training or getting stronger. Um, you, you get like a renewal in your strength or your spirit and you're I see lots of success I see you being like way up on top here people praising you you know maybe you were doubtful before about a person place or a thing but it looks to me like this week all doubt is gone absolutely all your doubts just disappear. Maybe, like I say, you could have been praying for guidance or a renewal or an understanding or praying for hope and get some hope back or some strength. Leo energy, Aquarius energy, you got it. This week, you're going to have a lot of support, a lot of people around you. Could even just be one person in particular that means a lot to you that's just praising you like crazy. Let's see what else. Okay, it could be a queen of wands. It could be a fire sign. It could be a friend. It could be someone significant, a romantic partner, or um, a sibling. It's fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. I'm hearing, I didn't know you had it in you, Virgo. Somebody's going to say that to you. I did not know you had this in you. I am so proud of you. I cannot believe how much you've changed how this transformation has occurred. You're going to hear that this week. It could be from a boss. You know, um, there's there's like this energy, like what if, where have you been hiding? It could be from anybody. Where have you been on my life? Where have you been hiding? Uh, you know, uh, the secret you've been keeping. You're going to be very surprised, right? You're going to be very surprised. I'm just going to tell you, I feel like this week is going to be some surprises, things that are just unexpected, but very positive, and they're just going to come out of the blue. 
Um, like I said, for some, this could be a, a, a job. You get a promotion where you might have been hoping for that or a better job with better pay. Um, uh, you might get discovered this week as well for something that you do. You get discovered. Yeah, you've been struggling, Virgo. And look, I feel like you're you're at the end of the struggle for sure. There's nowhere to go but up. Look, the angels are around you. I love this, I, especially the way this reading has progressed. It's there's so much positive energy. Okay, so I feel like hold on to that. Um, they just said to get some financial messages this week here for you. Financial messages for Virgo. All right, good. You've got wisdom. You're called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way. Use your wisdom and experience, Virgo. Very, very good. Okay, you also have relationships, business partners, office love affairs, and communication with coworkers are highlighted now. Make choices with extreme care. Well, wow. So you also have make it work. You have all the tools you need to succeed, but you have to put in the effort. You're, you excel at working with your hands and fixing problems. And you also have, okay, that kind of fits for me. You are uncovering new talents that will land you new work and a better position. You could get more money with the deal as well. That's what I was saying. Somebody's going to be like these hidden gifts, like they didn't know you had some kind of talent for something and somehow they see it either you let it out or they see it by accident or mistake and they're very impressed with you you know this week that's what that phoenix energy is like something is coming out of you this week that you get some kind of type of recognition for either by a, it could be by a boss uh, a, co a work colleague like I said it could be anybody romantic relationship whatever some kind of talent you're going to get recognized this week for it I love that that's great if, if you like being recognized I know some Virgos are like no 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 leave me alone I work in the background <laughs> so it's fine whatever but listen if you have a special talent or you discover that you're good at something don't be afraid to show that Virgo it's not it's not vain it's, it's not vanity you know, it's only if you're using it to manipulate people. But no, that's not that's not you. Okay, what else do you have? All right, some of you are moving to a safer place, so you might be relocating or looking for a place to move to that's a bit more safe than when you where you're at now. And if you're at a really safe place, you might just be like, nah, not safe enough. I need like thirty deadbolts on my door. Okay, you also have a deeply loving male who's going to be very significant this week, uh, masculine or feminine here. Um, so deeply loving male is going to be a water sign. Very significant this week. Wait, there's also, you have to take a risk about something this week, or you might be thinking about a decision that you need to make, and you might be going down a rabbit hole with it. The message here is to take a risk in that decision. It could have something to do with starting over, which could be very tough, even if it's a positive uh, change. But you're being asked this week to spread your wings and don't think it, overthink it. Endure and be patient this week. Okay. Which is very good. Very good. Okay. You can do it. You could do this. Words of encouragement. So here's transition again. And this is the overall message here. Whatever you're going through. The end of suffering is upon you, right? It's coming. You saw the Ten of Swords there. And you saw the Five of Pentacles. That's suffering. And the Ten of Swords after that, whether you suffered a betrayal, you've hit rock bottom with something. And you're starting over. And it's out with the old, in with the new. Now, that isn't always easy. Okay? And it's when you're going through the transforming season, which is bringing you into a new place, you're going to go through the you know, the, the, the pokes and the pains, it's like giving birth, you know, but it, you, you don't stay in labor forever. <laughs> so allow this transition to happen this week and go with the flow because now is the time for this change. And now it's not going to be for everybody. Some of you I know are like, now nah, I'm, I'm in my routine. Everything's good. I got no problem. This it could have anything to do with anything. This change you are upon the Phoenix is rising. There is change happening this week. It could be as very minimal 
as you're maybe changing your eating pattern, eating habits, diet, or it could be major where you're traveling, you're going to move, move somewhere to another part of the world. It could be anything. Okay. So you know what your transition is. You know what your change is. The message here, especially if it's positive, is to don't quit. Don't be discouraged. Just keep swimming little bit by bit every day. You know, some don't be, um, and your message is to be patient. Endure and be patient, right? Rome wasn't built in a day. And I feel like whatever you're trying to do, wherever you want to be in your life, you just have to add a little bit each day. You know, like a step by step. I mean, I'm not talking to children here. You guys know that. Okay. Messages of love. Let's see what your messages of love are. So this week is good. It looks very positive. You're going to see positive changes occurring. All right, messages of love. Okay, for some of you, there is a destined partnership that's faded. There is a partnership meant to be together. You were fated to come together, and you're fated to be in this partnership for some reason. <laughs> it could be any kind of partnership. It could be business, because you did have business partnership here, remember? For some of you, this is a business partnership. Business partners could be office love, affairs, communication with coworkers, highlighted this week. Make choices with extreme care. So for some of you, there is someone you might be asking, why this person come into my life? <coughs> why are they currently in my life right now? This person secretly longs for you yearning for you so it is there is a there is a romantic thing and I know the question is why especially oh because it's meant to be a sacred union long-term sacred union for some absolutely marriage but yeah long-term sacred union this is there's a person significant in your life that, that's meant to be just accept it it is what it is Somebody was just meant to be here. Okay, for some of you, it's a second chance. Hmm. Now, it does say this relationship deserves a second chance. But you are the judge of that. Okay? Not, not the card. Because you, you, might, you might say, yeah, it does, but I don't want it. That's just your choice. <laughs> and for others, you might say, um, I believe that. Yes, it does. But my, other, but my person doesn't believe that. That's okay. It's just confirming what you know and don't know. You just need to keep that right in the back of your head. Or wherever you want to keep it in that head of yours. All right, let's take a look at the Chinese signs. Let's get into these Chinese signs. You or your person. Show Virgo. Chinese signs. All right. So you have Year of the Monkey. And this, for me, they're just saying is related to the destined partnership. The faded partnership year of the rabbit year of the tiger year of the dragon year of the rat year of the ox year of the pig and year of the horse okay that could be you that could be your person now if it's not your person showing up it doesn't mean it's not a destined partnership this would just give more clarity to those who, is, who are meant to hear that all right All right, double Scorpio and a Gemini. So we got Mercury showing up here. And Aries, significant signs for you this week. Okay, September 10th, someone is 37. Somebody is a gym teacher, phys ed teacher. All right, September 4th, someone is 43, 42, 43. Someone's born in 67, August 31st. See, guys, when I said that I needed to fix that, I didn't mean I was taking it away. I just meant that I needed to do like 31, 30, 29, 28. So, you know what I mean? But there you go. And I have to do that still. So let me put that aside so I can remember. <laughs> okay. So definitely September. Okay. 
so they're just saying September 26th is going to be a significant day but I'm also picking up August 26th is somebody's birthday but September 26th of this year is going to be very significant and related related more so to this reading okay um, somebody is nauseous they just said puke or someone just puked that's disgusting oh well I hope you're not feeling sick um, okay someone is 58 someone is 61 1990 46 okay April and May very significant months for two people or one person September 15th September 21st birthdays okay and someone is 54 okay give me a sec let me see we have Virginia we have Louisiana okay hmm <sighs> Excuse me. Um, someone's in the Dakotas. Lives in the Dakotas or near the Dakotas. Mm, someone's initials KO. Holla. Uh, someone's name is Ed. Um, we have PI. Maybe someone's a private investigator. Or, I don't know, Philippines? Philadelphia? Okay, now, they're giving me DW. Oh, I was just thinking about DW from like the cute television show. But I feel like that's an airport. Is it Dulles Airport? Or I don't know what it could just be initials, but DW is very significant. And I'm not sure why. They're not giving me like actually why it is just dw so i'm just gonna leave it there okay and then we have a q um somebody calls somebody a cutie it says cutie all right let's get your charms all right three we've got ballerina slippers so we might have a dancer here somewhere you might be a dancer you don't have to be a ballerina, but maybe you're a dancer. You enjoy dancing. Are you going to start dancing? Maybe you'll take up ballerina or ballet, <laughs> um, ballet dancing or do some type of dancing like that. Very significant this week. Hmm. All right. I see. Oh, I'm right now. I'm just, I, f I feel like that's a water. Um, Okay, they just said somebody's looking out of um, a porthole, like on a ship. There's water. Are you going on a ship this week? Are you going to be on a cruise or a planning one? I just feel like somebody's in a ship looking out a window and is seeing like the water and the sky. Maybe you're, maybe you're swimming, looking through your goggles, or just skimming the top of the water. It feels like a horizon with a beach, like water. <clears throat> it feels like looking through at a horizon where the water meets the sky. That's what I feel like that has to do with. Could also be looking at, um, no, 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 no. No, that, that's what they said that is. You're looking through something. Okay. Oh, how cute. And you also have a little happy sky. Oh, it's like um, Bob Ross painting happy little skies. Yeah, are you painting? Are you doing some Bob Ross painting? Making happy little trees? Happy little skies this week? <laughs> that is such a cute happy little sky. Okay. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I look up the clouds, they make me very happy. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like when it's a beautiful day and the sky is just deep blue and the clouds are just so white and pretty and fluffy, they just, I don't know, they just make me very happy. <laughs> I just always smile. Maybe you're one of those Virgos that does that too. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to leave that reading there. Oh, I just flipped this card over. We also have Year of the Goat showing up here. It could be you, another person. 
So I'm going to leave that there. I hope you enjoyed that reading. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to do, oh, what is tomorrow? Tuesday already. Yeah, whatever. All right. So yeah, uh, glad you guys had a great weekend. Hope you had a great Monday. I know Mondays are tough to get through. Um, but I will see you all back here tomorrow. Also, um, if you subscribe to my channel, like if you became a member, I just want to um, give you a shout out. If you are a member, <coughs> hold on, I got to find it. I always forget to set this up before I start because I'm just, I don't know. I'm just that person. Um, let me just give you a shout out if you've recently joined. Brenda Gaddy, Amelia Joel Baba, Noelle Castle, and yes, Carrie Ann Lucas Smith. Sometimes I'll call your name again. Um, but thank you so much for becoming a member of House of Virgo channel. Greatly appreciate that. If you want to sign up, $2.99 per month. And yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.